It's my sister's cat up on the roof. Bella, how'd you even get up there? We are getting ready to go on the move right now, taking care of some biz. Uh, just got sent out some invoices, took care of some paperwork, sent out some emails, getting ready for a session tomorrow, now going to deposit some checks, which I just remembered I have to actually go grab before I leave, so good thing I just filmed this. Basically, just doing the business side of things again. The sooner you realize and learn that voiceover or mm, any creative field really uh, is still... Even though you're creative, it's it's still a business. It's still your own business. So it's about 90% outside of the booth a lot of the times. Marketing yourself, sending invoices, taking care of emails, looking over scripts, that kind of thing. Taking care of the business so you can do the 10%, the fun stuff, inside of the booth, the creative side of things. That's what we're going to go do now so that tomorrow I can just go have a fun session. <laughs> I mean, you gotta give it to her. She looks pretty epic up there. Bella conquers the world. I'm not coming to get you, Bella. You better find your way back down. <laughs> Also included in that 90% of the business side of things, I would throw in practice and coaching in there as well. Because even though it is part of the performance side of things and it's fun and you get to perform and have a good time while you're doing it, most of the time you still have to schedule time to do it. A lot of the times you have to pay to do it. Not all the time. You can practice a lot on your own, and I encourage that. But I would put it in the business side of things because you're not getting paid for it, but it is going to go back to support your business in the long run. I'm preaching to the choir here, too. I've got to get better at practicing myself, taking coaching lessons. and I did, however, just sign up for improv classes. I had my first one yesterday and it was awesome. I was nervous walking there. I was nervous right when I entered the room. But once you start playing and having fun, all those nerves went away pretty quick. Went to Finest City Improv here in San Diego. Shout out to them. They made a very welcoming environment. And I'm excited already for my next class. So even though it's not always the most glamorous side of the business, get your practice in, get your marketing in, and make sure you have a good product to market. Because, of course, you could market a bad product, but in my opinion, you'll be found out in the long run. So it's better to build up a good product and then start marketing yourself. So let's get out there and practice. It's just a cat on the roof, cat on the roof. Nothing to see here but a cat on the roof. <laughs> Looking for adventure? We'll look no further than Adventure Cat. <sighs> ah, that is one of my favorite things to see. Hi, Matt. I've attached the script for tomorrow's recording session. Seriously, that is one of the coolest emails you can get. I get to go and record in person again with a couple other actors, Randy and Wendy. Love working with them. And get to go to Studio West, which is an awesome studio here in San Diego. So, excited to get out of the house tomorrow. Going to look over the script a few more times. Again, that's part of the business. It's fun, though, because you get to get ready to go record in person and you want to be prepared so that they'll bring you back so gonna look over the script and i'll take you guys along again tomorrow as i go record don't be afraid to do the business part of things get down to business thanks so much for watching a uh, quick update for you on the cat bella she's fine look at her she's back on the ground no idea how she got up on the roof or how she got down but there she is